my friends, what's going on? It's your boy Cater on a beautiful, beautiful day, my friend. What's up with your land? What's up with your life? How you doing? How you feeling today? So in this video, guys, we're gonna be talking about drop shipping from the US. Now, a lot of my students, a lot of people ask me questions when it comes to e-commerce. Yo, Cater, a lot of people start drop shipping from China, which was cool in 2015 and 2016. Now, Facebook has changed a lot of things. You know, they're asking your customers, you know, for they're asking customers to rate you. You know, they can say, yo, your stuff takes forever to get there. You know, back in the days when it was the wild, wild west, everybody was killing, right? It wasn't as much as crazy about customer service, but now that a lot of things are changing you can be working your business you like waking up in the morning you just hoping that when you start getting a lot of customers you start getting a lot of sales um you dropping up from you dropping off from overseas and it's taking 40 days especially if you're doing worldwide if you don't you know if you're selling items in different far away countries stuff are taking like 30 days so the person will buy something for 19.99 by the time they get it they totally forgot they even ordered that stuff and they get so pissed off some people will follow through and put complaints all over to get so pissed off now how can you go about fixing that problem if you enjoyed this video but haven't subscribed press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update Best thing is to drop ship. If you want to start drop shipping, you can drop ship from the US. I'm going to tell you the benefits. At the end of this video, I'll give you some resources on how you can actually drop ship from the US. You can actually do that even in AliExpress, but I'm going to give you two solutions in the end of this video. Okay? So here's the reason why. A couple of reasons why you want to drop ship from the US. Number one reason is that what I personally realize when I'm doing my Facebook ads is that you get more sales when you target US. I mean, believe it or not, even if you do other traffic, if you don't look like audience, but I'm, so, I'm talking about from initial, from initial, from initial, you're starting your campaign, more likely, most of the sales usually come from the US, unless you already have a product that kind of went viral worldwide and people want it. But for the most part, US traffic converts a lot higher because it's one of the top tier countries, right? If you're gonna do top tier, maybe, you know, you look at England you're looking at other countries but when you go worldwide it, it's it's like you know you, you get sales for cheaper but not as fast as you is because you is have a lot of buyers so they have a buying audience so that's what you're gonna realize that's gonna be the first thing with doing the, the US traffic you get you get sales a lot faster the second thing now the reason why you want to drop ship from the US now it comes into the customer service so after you make the sales right you make the sales in the front end you're probably gonna have to lose right in the front end because now with everybody competing for the US traffic everybody understanding Facebook ads everybody's driving traffic every company is competing for the same audiences yes the price is rising the price of advertising on Facebook is rising but on the customer side is great because time delivery time delivery it helps you big time you know if someone orders something from your store and it's gonna take them <laughs> four weeks to get it you know, two to four weeks. Sometimes we say on a thing, yeah, it's gonna take you two weeks, but we know what the hell can go down when you drop shipping from China and other places. Sometimes customer, they, they taking weeks to actually get the items. And by the time it gets to them, they totally don't even want it anymore. Or they probably already put a refund and now they get to keep the item and they get to keep the money because they got refunded. So all of that stuff comes in, like some people don't talk about this problem, you know, with draft shipping. Time delivery is big because now with Amazon shifting things, now think about Amazon. Everything is moving to where customer can get served the fastest. That's the people that's gonna sustain in the game. The big fish, they're swallowing all the small fishes. So if you're a drop shipper, you're a small fish compared to Amazon. Someone buys something from Amazon, now they have services with their local warehouse. They have a regular person drive their own car like an Uber, pick up the item and bring it to the people's house. Have you ever seen, have you ever ordered something from Amazon and you're not even seeing UPS drop it? It's like a regular person driving their own car, ringing your doorbell. You're like, oh, did I invite a friend to my house? Nope, it's Amazon. <laughs> like, what the hell? You know, people order that thing, they get, they get it the same day now. Some people get this stuff in like 40 minutes because they have warehouses in different places and people just pick it up. Regular people, they drop it at your house. And now it's like, 
people start creating that wave microwave mindset where time delivery is is mean start meaning a lot to them because companies big companies start shifting that Walmart start doing it so as those big companies start doing it guess what it's gonna be the expectancy everybody expect to get the thing fast and if you're taking two three weeks four weeks to to get your product out there yeah you might get a sell but you're not gonna have a recurring customer and we all know the main business is done with recurring customer the people that's gonna buy one time from you and keep buying over and over and over and over again from you now another reason why you want to drop ship from the US is that customer happy you know there's a saying that says a happy wife happy happy life right well it's the same thing happy customer happy business if your customers are mad they pissed off as hell guess what they're gonna kill your business because your business are your customer now, I know with drop shipping, and if you're just learning, you're just getting your few customers, you get excited about getting one sell, but if you always have to pay to acquire sell, always have to pay to acquire sell, you never have a list of customers that you can always do business in the back end, you know, you always gonna have to pay to acquire a new customer. Most of the most powerful companies, they have a list of customer. Once they acquire a customer, like a company like Apple, right? I have this iPhone 10. Eh, trust me, if you have an iPhone 10, you more likely might have had an iPhone 8. You more likely might have had an iPhone 6. If that's you, yeah, you can say what's up in the comment. You know, they create a buyer. Once they got you to buy the first iPhone, was it whether it was iPhone 5, you buy the 5S, you buy the 6, you buy the 6S, you buy the 7, you buy the 10, you become a customer. They don't have to acquire you anymore. They did that with the first purchase. And that's why you want to think with your business. When you're doing drop shipping and your customers are not happy, guess what? You acquired that customer one time, but there's no recurring sales. There's no sales in the future that's coming just because they become a loyal customer. So you need to start framing and think about, hey, if I drop ship from the US, I'm gonna keep my customer happy. Yeah, so therefore my business is gonna be happy. So fourth thing that you wanna think about, when you're gonna do your Facebook ads, right, targeting US, think about you're gonna lose in the front end. You're more likely gonna lose in the front end. Why? Because cost per click and cost per customer acquisition is, is increasing. It's increasing because now there's more bidder, a lot more people. So people get excited about, yo, everybody's getting into dropshipping, you know, like people like me. We do YouTube videos, we tell everybody in the mama, get a store, we going crazy, we killing it, we crushing it, let's go. People get excited, they sign up, they sign up the cousin, they sign up the brother, they sign up, and everybody now got a store, everybody's marketing, everybody's putting Facebook ads, everybody's putting money, and now it's like, oh, okay, Facebook's like, okay, so we getting advertiser, baby, we, we getting money, we getting money, guess what? More people are competing now for the same audience, guess what? They're gonna start making you pay more. So therefore, if we all going after the US audience, now remember, you're gonna lose in the front end. And if you're playing the game smart, if you're gonna be a smart player for the long term, it's okay. You'll be willing to lose in the front end to kill in the back end, because most people will be gone by the price in the front end. So you can lose in the front end. Guess what? People say, hey man, oh, US traffic is too expensive. Okay, it's cool. Compete for the US traffic, and now your lookalike traffic is not gonna be as expensive. It's not gonna be as crazy. Your retargeting traffic is not gonna be as crazy. Your back end, the people on your list now that's from that specific you know, buyer's location, it's not gonna be as crazy for you to email those people. Emailing is free. So if you build a list, you got the customer, you have a customer, you have a buyer's list, it's free to email those people. So yes, in the front end, you might lose some money to acquire those customers, but in the back end, you're gonna be winning, baby. You're gonna be winning. So you lose in the front end so that you can make it up in the back end. Okay, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna jump into the computer. There's a tool that I'm using that actually gives you products in the US that you can fulfill from the US. I've showed you some of you um, that tool, but I'll show you how to do it on AliExpress. I'll show you how to do it on the tool also. You know, both of them works great. You can find suppliers in the US that has US warehouse. You can get your stuff delivered a lot faster. Anyway guys, let's jump into the computer. Let me know what you think. All right guys, so now we are in my computer. So okay, here's the tool that I was telling you guys, one of the tool that I use. I'm gonna put the link in the description called Product List Genie. They have a US warehouse where you can actually fulfill. They have different products you can actually fulfill from US warehouse, which makes it legitly pretty cool. They have different things. I remember I used to make a killing with those um, Packers t-shirts. I mean, Packers. This is a little bit on the, uh, can you get away with that? That's the one thing. I've seen people sell it a lot. This is a little bit on the trademark side, but uh, it's not really like, it's a blouse. 
Let me see, and this stuff is for $19.99, and you can get it for $4.48 on um, if you actually drop shipping it. The cool part is that they give you access to the videos, and they give you access to the copy that you can actually um, use on the ad, which makes it pretty dope, pretty legit. Let's see, anything else they have on here? Um, it's a couple different ones. Let's see, they have a couple different pages that you can actually find products in the US that you can go for. Okay, let's see, for example, this one. This is the Packers t-shirts, let's see. So this one here, you have the video. So if you click on the video, you can download the video, which I think is the cool part about this program. It allow you to get access to a video that you can download and use. Let's see what the video looks like. See? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty dope video. You can actually use and do that. They have different products in here which you can test. Okay, the next way you can actually do it, right, is by going to AliExpress. Let's see, for example, we're gonna go to AliExpress and we're gonna test. Um, I was doing some searches earlier. Let's say you're doing um, um, hair extension, you know, a hair extension if you're doing that. You'll see that any niche, it doesn't have to be hair extension, you could do it, the cat niche, bracelet, whatever. You can go on the right, if you look on the right side, where it says ship from the United States, you change that from, instead of China, put in United States, and you're gonna see people that's been selling. I mean, this thing has 27,000 orders. So you see people using these things to, to make it happen, you know? And let's see, three days. So what you wanna do, I mean, this is a three three ninety nine extension. You can actually buy that and sell it for like $29.99. Women spend a lot of money. If you're in that niche, now if for all different niches, it's gonna be the same. But what you could do is always talk to, always talk to the uh, provider and see if you can build a relationship instead of a three days processing time, processing time they can get you to like a one day like your, your stuff will be out like the second day so let, let's test something else like if you went to um i did the magnetic eyelashes that's another thing any niche that you put in here man if you put um you know from united states you'll find the same thing you'll find a bunch of them that you can actually come here let's look if you're into the video games you know um Let's say baby monitors, for example. You know, anything. You know, whatever niches that you in. You can always ship it from the United States. Change it and see what you got. See those that you can actually ship from the United States. This one have 1,200 orders. You know, $33 item. This is something you can probably mark up to $9.99 to $100. Or, you know, even $70 and make, you know... $30 profit and all that stuff. You know, that's how you could do it. The second way you can actually do it. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know of the information. I've also heard a few information um, from different sources that um, AliExpress now is looking to open up a, a couple of different U.S. warehouse, which is going to be dope because if they have the U.S. warehouse in the States now, they can all, always get things a lot faster to people. And if they find those products that uh, have selling right now they can get them to the state and get it out there a lot faster it'll make a lot much more sense even for people that are drop shipping but for now you can definitely find some u.s warehouse that are carrying those products or some people that you can deal with that, that are carrying the products and just bring the shipping time to deliver delivery time to a shorter period of time it'll help you big time all right so what i want you to do guys if you want the that product that product list genie that they keep adding more products in there and that has u.s warehouse fulfilling you know, click the link below. It'll actually take you um, to the product. You can actually get a free trial of it. Also, add yourself to our Facebook group. I'm gonna put a link to the Facebook group. We have a Shopify no quarters inside of the Facebook group. You know, I keep dropping, you know, new videos. Maybe you're watching this video in the Facebook group. If you have any questions, let me know how your store's doing. Let me know how things are rocking for you. Just wanted to share this stuff with you. Has some value. You know, take your game to the next level. That was your boy Cater. Appreciate you. Let's take it to a whole next level. I'll see you guys later. Let's go.